Okay, hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Jon, uh, J O N. Uh, introduction to at Imgur. Um, I'm going to do a colorization for you today, just to show you how I'm doing my colorization. And uh, like Imgur asked me to uh, to do a fast tutorial for you, so I have a tutorial list. It's just a simple one. If you have seen my profile, you know that I have done some uh, some big pictures, like uh, very detailed work. This is not what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I'm just going to do something something easy for for um, people that are interested in, in maybe doing their own colorizations. Um, so uh, yeah. So it's just going to be like a, a photo of Audrey Hepburn. It's just the portrait. It's uh, it's kind of dark. It's it's um, it's maybe not the most fun object to do. Even though I like her as actress and everything, and it's just um, it's just a very simple tutorial. So if you're looking for any any more like detailed work and stuff you can always check out my YouTube um, and uh, yeah so let's get going first thing I've done is open um, a Photoshop file like a, a picture of Audrey Hepburn because people on Imgur like Audrey Hepburn um, <laughs> so so why not can it so we're just going to start with, like I said, opening the image. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, I'm, uh, I have been a bit sick lately, but um, let's get cranky anyway. So first off, you need to go to image mode and just check so it stands at RGB color and not uh, black and white or grayscale. And it does, so we're good there. Um, first off, we want to do the skin tone. Uh, I normally start there, so you can uh, create a folder first of all and uh, name that folder to maybe skin and uh, then you just create a new layer and then we're gonna pick a first color and we want to be around red orange kinda so even if you're not like Totally sure that is the right the right color. You can only sh always change it afterwards. So that's not a big deal. And you want to uh, set the layer settings down to color burn. And you need a brush. And the size um, depends on picture, but around there I guess. Then you just start to fill in. Yes. So as you can see down here, um, I'm using mouse and not the vacuum pad like <laughs> almost all other uh, artists in this area is using. I'm a bit different. Um, <clears throat> so I have done Photoshop work since uh, 97, like a hobby. I'm just going to take a sip of my uh, pineapple juice because my voice is, as you can hear, a bit rough. <clears throat> there we go. Um, didn't change anything, but we just keep going. Anyway, so um, like I said, I have done Photoshop work since 1997 and um, I just started to like do all the work with the mouse and keyboard and even though I know for a fact that the vacuum pad or a pen a tablet is faster I'm still going with the, my old kind of setup with the just mouse and keyboard works for me so if I change something that works right that's just dumb yeah. So we're just filling in everything. So this is like the boring part. The first 
first skin tone layer is always the boring part to do. It takes time and it's just eh. But whatever. So when I get the, uh, like the question from Imgur to do a tutorial for y'all, um, I first thought of like doing a big piece like something in the part of if you have seen my uh, profile you you know for a fact that I have done uh, a bit bigger pieces than just portraits um, but I thought like it would be fun to show everyone how to do it but it would take a lot of time so I just went with a portrait because it's fast, it's kind of simple for me to do and so on. So uh, when you have done the first layer, um, you will miss a few uh, spots. So I normally go down to linear burn and just fill in those spots right away. Oops, wrong one. I want that one, yeah. Um, just fill it in, fill, 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 fill. doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because after this step uh, I will change it back to color burn and then I will choose um, the eraser tool and set down the opacity and um, the flow of the eraser tool to around let's say 30 uh, and then I just going to remove and hardness down to zero then I just going to remove uh, like the ex excess paint that was painted over the parts that I don't want to be painted over, kind of. So as you can see down here with my mouse, um, I'm just doing it all like a, a bunch of times uh, instead of just setting up the opacity to 100 and do it once. The reason why I do it like this is because if you go with the high opacity and you remove something that you didn't want to remove, you need to fill that in again and it just takes even more time. So I don't have any problems with going um, back and forth like this. This is kind of a dark image. It's realized it's very dark on her left side for me right side for her i guess um well we have started so let's finish this okay so i'm pretty happy with that and then you just control click on lay one so you get it all marked up create a new layer and we want to have a more red-ish color, very light still. You just choose the paint uh, paint bucket, and you fill in. Then you can see that, oh, I have still missed a few spots. No biggie. Um, rectangle marker tool, and just press anywhere to remove the, the marking. Then back to brush, so I just press B, it's easier than to go up here and every single time. Uh, and we want to... What? Uh, wait a minute, something fish going on there. Ah, oh, there we go. Some reason it didn't unmark it, I guess, but it did. Uh, computers are weird, right? So, yeah, something like that. Then you change the layer setting on layer 2 to overlay. Oops, I missed. Um, then you, yeah, it all depends on the image. All depends on the image you're working on. But uh, opacity and flow need to turn down a bit yeah like maybe not a bit like a lot <laughs> really um 
but it all depends on image so for this one we might uh, be around 30 on another image it might be down to 15 on another image it might be up to 70 it all depends um, and then you control click layer 2 do the process all over again kind of um, so we want to go with a very 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 light red color add that in remove it again go down to vivid light uh, and choose like 10 10 so there we go this is the first three skin tone layers um, and then we make a new layer again can turn this layer setting right away to color burn and do the fill 80% and choose color and we want to be on the between uh, pink and uh, purple it's more purple than pink but yeah and brush tool again and change the opacity to uh, let's say 30% on the opacity and 20% on the flow. Let's zoom in a bit. Back to brush tool. Size down a bit. Or maybe not. Um, there. And you just want to fill in as it's the, the eye, um, around the eyes and nose and uh, part of the shin. It's <coughs> um, slide. Uh, it's a uh, thinner skin, so the blood vessels are shining through, and that is what we are trying to uh, do. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry if my English is not the best, but because I'm from Sweden, so uh, yeah, we're talking Swedish in like my native language. My English is just a second. And a bit on the nose. It's the same same um, reason as with the razor tool, uh, with the low opacity and flow. It's just because I'm just tapping in. Tap, 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 tap. And it works for me, it might not work for you. It's all depending on what you feel or the correct way of doing it but I like it to do it this way I see I missed a few spots here and there but I can change that can fix that later on so. mm -mm -mm -mm. let's do this as fast as possible Lift up here and even this part. Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, pretty happy with that. Zoom out. I use control um, plus and minus sign. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to fix this part here. So I'm just using the smudge tool is the easiest way. Same on the second layer and the third layer. Okay. Hmm. So there we are. Uh, and then we can start on the hair. So this is just the beginning, like the beginner uh, version of doing a colorization. Just because if I do like 
as I said before, if I did a whole picture of a, of a town or something, it would be like 150 layers and we would sit here for maybe 8 to 12 hours <laughs> and who wants to watch that? Like, yeah, so go on the hair, uh, create a new layer. She had a brown ish hair color. This is very, very dark image. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, you can put up the opacity and the flow. Not the 100%, but almost 100%. Just filling in this part. It looks a bit weird when I'm doing it like this. Okay, she should color burn you see. You look a bit better. Yes. <laughs> okay. There we go. Turn down the flow is uh, the fill just a bit and the opacity just a bit as well. And then create a new layer again and we need a bright yellow zone and now we need to change the opacity to maybe 20% and flow 20% and just tap in the highlights and change this to a vivid light turn down the fill and the opacity So highlight the parts around uh, like where the the lighting hits the top of that and we create a new layer again we can still be in the the hair section doesn't matter because yeah it is hair so and we're going to have the virtual good and we're just going to fill in her eyebrows and I haven't changed the layer setting yet, so it looks uh, kind of weird. Clicky, 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 clicky. And we change it to color burn. It's a lot of color burn. I like color burn. Color burn is my thingy use and well we can move on for now let's create a new <coughs> new layer and new folder with i <laughs> with i stuff eh. she had brown ish uh, like almost walnut tone, but it's so dark, so it doesn't really matter on this image uh, on this photo because um, it's going to be hard to see anyway. Just filling in. So I have the, you can have the opacity on 100% here if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Color burn again, turn down the fill and the opacity just a bit. And a new layer again, and we need a yellow tone. Opacity down a bit, flow down a bit. The size down a bit. It's used to give high highlights in the eyes, but like I said before, it's 
It's going to be hard to see the highlights on this, just because it's so dark. Change the vivid light again. Turn it down. Like so. And um, then on the, on the same uh, folder, creating a new la layer, we need a red tone. This is just to fill in like the blood vessels around our eyes. I think we're going with linear burn on this one. So the settings uh, to linear burn. It all depends on the image again. Like so. <coughs> A new folder, new layer. Name the folder if you want to. Name it to lips. And we need red-ish kind of tone like more natural than the lipstick version uh, can do the opacity around 50% and flow 50% maybe start filling in the lips like so to let's say color burn <laughs> so just because this image is so dark as I mentioned a few times uh, the lips will get a lot darker than if it was a, a bright more bright um, photo and a new layer for the highlights and we're going to do the highlights in very, very bright pink. Change the opacity to 20%, the flow to 20%. And just start filling in very, uh, yeah, tappy tappy. Change the vivid light again, turn it down a bit. And Opacity and uh, fill, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, fill, 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 like so. Maybe turn down the lips a bit more just because it's so bright. I don't know, the darkest image. So, this is how I do it, like the, the easy way, uh, and then I just go to uh, layers, flatten image into adjustments vibrance turn this up need to go back and forth on this vibrance and saturation just because it all depends on the image again uh, can't stretch that enough all right I guess and then you go into image again and we can do the photo filter I'm normally using form filter LBA and then we go into adjustments again and we choose color balance
Okay, well there we are. <laughs> it was a very simple, um, simple first step into doing colorizations. But I think if I do a more, um, like a bigger picture or a more detailed one or something like that, it would take forever. <laughs> would take a lot of hours, and uh, for someone to sit here and watch me do that. Uh, wouldn't be fun and I think you wouldn't learn anything to be honest um, because it's so many steps so this is just a very simple one to do so if you have a, uh, a photo of uh, let's say uh, grandma or something when she was young and wasn't any color photos and you want to see her in color and you can just uh, use uh, there are the, those multi-function uh, printers um, as you can buy and those normally have a scanner so you can scan the photo put it into photoshop and just uh, do what I just did and uh, you will have a, a rough estimate how she would look back then so it takes time to to learn how to do, like how to master uh, colorizations and uh, as I have said in many comments on Imgur or Imgur, I'm not a professional yet. I'm just doing this as a hobby and uh, I'm fortunate enough to get sponsors to help me out because everything I do, uh, I do for free, like I do for the social media. and. Um, so I don't earn anything on this, to be honest. Um, so for me to get help from, let's say, BenQ, um, they help me with the monitor I'm on. And uh, if you want to see more about that, I will do like a bit of a tour in uh, like a minute from now. <laughs> I'm just going to show show you what I'm working with and you know, my computer setup and stuff. So uh, if you want to stick around for that, uh, let's cut on to this now. Or if you're not want to see that, uh, I want to say thank you uh, to Imgur to invite me to this and uh, even my, like I said, my sponsor again, thank you. And, uh, and Gigabyte, I don't want to forget Gigabyte because they have me a lot with hardware and stuff. So thanks to both BenQ and Gigabyte for helping me out. And yeah, let's do the hardware tour, I think. <laughs> okay, so here is my uh, computer. And uh, both the motherboard and my graphic card is sponsored by Gigabyte. And it's a it's a Ryzen computer, so I get a lot of cores just to make it simpler when I doing big files in Photoshop. And Ryzen is good on that, and even if I do 3D renders and stuff like that, it helps a lot as well. Mm, my graphic card is uh, GTX 1080 Ti and the Ryzen behind that lovely thing is um, Ryzen uh, 17, 1700 I think it's called and uh, yeah and the motherboard is a gaming 5 you can probably see it there EA AX370 Gaming 5 motherboard. Here's my. Might be a bit dark, and I'm sorry about that, but my studio is a bit dark. Um, this monitor I'm using is the, the BenQ PD3200U. So it's a 4K32 inch monitor and I'm very happy with it and it really it really do some 
the RGB is great and yeah everything see if I have some some project that I'm working on maybe so I can show you what I'm doing so this is a project I'm working on at the moment it's pretty cool it's not done yet as you can see it's a lot of gray and areas still but uh, if I've done the tutorial on that you can see like it's it's a lot of layers a lot of folders with layers in it and yeah it wouldn't be fun to watch that so yeah it's my mom's and I'm very happy about it I'm gonna set up for streaming and stuff. I have the Yeti mic. I have another BenQ, it's an old gaming BenQ, and uh, my uh, OBS is out there. You can see me. Woo! Here we are. So, yeah, this is my setup, and I'm very happy about it. Works fine. Um, so, if you're looking for a good monitor to use when you're doing uh, stuff in Photoshop I can recommend this monitor it's awesome well, there we go thanks for watching my tutorial and uh, thank you Imgur for the invite if you want to check out my uh, social media I will um, lay it out on the screen here <laughs> so you can check out all my social media sites and also my dear sponsors BenQ and Gigabyte uh, without them this wouldn't be possible to be honest um, and yeah uh, if I haven't lost your interest by now I'm very happy about that but it was a long one and um, yeah I hope I hope to see more um, like colorizations in creative or art section on Imgur would be awesome uh, we need more because we aren't that many that are doing this um, so please like follow my tutorial and just try it out it might look a bit weird in the beginning and that's totally fine just keep at it and you'll learn more and more um, I started to do colorizations in 2013 so I've done it for a few years now um, yeah and I'm not like the professional yet I doubt I'll ever be to be honest uh, but uh, I just think it's fun and I really like and really love all the uh, comments or and internet points <laughs> that I get on Imgur and um, I really love all, all the love that are coming from the community for, for the time I spend on every single photo so thanks for that I can add just like a small little extra and uh, that commissions I do commissions from time to time I haven't done that many uh, I've done work for uh, big Swedish museums and stuff like that, but that's another thing. It's uh, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of research and stuff going into that. But just normal commissions for uh, people like you that are watching, who maybe want an uh, uh, old family photo in color. Just hit me up, send me send me a PM, and I can probably help you out. Uh, I have a PayPal set up for that and everything so um, just hit me up on that and uh, yeah I can probably help you out no problem but um, thanks for my guess and uh, see you in the comments bye